Hello guys, so today we are, today we are going to discuss about anaerobic bacteria. Anaerobic bacteria. Okay. So at first, in the anaerobic bacteria, they uses nitrogen rather than oxygen. Rather than oxygen as a terminal receptor. Terminal receptor. So at first, the other bacteria uses oxygen as a terminal receptor but anaerobic bacteria uses nitrogen as a terminal receptors okay another things that you needed to know that why anaerobic bacteria dies in presence of oxygen so in the presence of oxygen they use oxygen as an during during energy production energy production so during energy production they uses oxygen and there are some toxic compound toxic compound is produced like peroxide and superoxide superoxide which causes cell death and it is prevented this toxic compound is catalyzed by catalyst and superoxide dismutase so this eliminates this toxic compound but in anaerobic bacteria there is reduced amount of the catalyst and superoxide dismutase so the toxic compound cannot be eliminated so it causes cell death so in the presence of oxygen during energy production it causes cell death in case of anaerobic bacteria and what are the bacteria are there are some are gram positive cocci some are gram positive bacilli, some are gram negative cocci, some are gram negative bacilli. So, suppose this is the diaphragm. So, this is the diaphragm. Now, the cocci, the cocci uh, that works uh, above the diaphragm are micro aerophilic streptococcus. These are peptococci and peptostreptococci. Pepto, streptococci. Now, gram positive bacilli. The gram positive bacilli are Propinobacterium acne and actinomyces. Actinomyces. And that works below the diaphragm is Clostridium. Clostridium. The gram negative cocci. The gram negative cocci is Veilonella. Now, the gram negative bacilli. The gram negative bacilli above the diaphragm is Prevotella. Another one is Fusobacterium. And that was below the diaphragm, that is bacterioids group, bacterioids group with some species including bacterioid fragilis. Now, the anaerobic bacteria that works above the diaphragm, most these bacteria are killed only clindamycin, only clindamycin. And below the diaphragm, here, this bacteria is killed by only metronidazole so works here. Metronida. So, so these two groups of bacteria, uh, clindamycin does not work on that. And this group of bacteria that works above the diaphragm, these group of bacteria are not killed by metronidazole. So, above diaphragm, clindamycin work better, and below diaphragm, metronidazole work better. And one another most thing, the other antibiotics are that works everywhere. These are carbipenem, carbipenem. And uh, second generation cephalosporin like cefoxetin, cefoxetin, moxifloxacin, moxifloxacin, and penicillin G. At, uh, mainly above diaphragm, clindamycin plus penicillin G. It works better. Penicillin G. And in the CNS, and another one is chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol. And in the CNS infection, the anaerobic coverage are metronidazole, metronidazole, and chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol. And one more thing is that chloramphenicol cannot uh, work against Clostridium difficile, another species of the Clostridium. So Clostridium difficile is not killed by chloramphenicol. And uh, there are some other antibiotics that cannot kill the Clostridium difficile. These are Clostridium difficile. The all start with the C, so not work. All start with the C. So these are ciprofloxacin, ciprofloxacin, and uh, clarithromycin, clarithromycin. Then clindamycin, clindamycin. Next one is chloramphenicol, chloramphenicol, and cephalosporin, cephalosporin. So which works against clostridium difficulty? There are two drugs. One is metronidazole. And first one is metro. And if metronidazole resistant, then what's vancomycin, vancomycin. So this was this was all about the anaerobic bacteria. Thanks for watching. Thank you all.